Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Kadhai. Today we will be making a different kind of brinjal recipe which is Khatte Meethe Bengal. Let's see how to make this. Our main ingredient is Bengal. I have taken these very cute small little brinjals which are available in the market and I have slitted them like this with two diagonal lines. Then we need one big cup of onions. You can chop them. I have chopped them using my chopper. Some spices like salt, red chilli powder, turmeric powder. And this is the tamarind pulp. And this is jaggery. As we are making khatta mitha bengal, so therefore we are adding these two ingredients. For stuffing the brinjals, we have prepared a mixture of salt, red chilli powder and turmeric powder. You can add the ratio as you like but one teaspoon of each will be good enough then with the help of spoon we will stuff this mixture in each brinjal like this you can see we are not properly stuffing them we are only coating the inside part of brinjal with this masala as it will give a nice flavor to our small brinjals. Now in our kadhai we have added 1 tablespoon of oil. You can take mustard oil and then we will add chopped onions to it. We will saute the onions for 2 to 3 minutes. To our sauteed onions we will add our flavored brinjals. We will mix it. The best part is you can cook them with stem. And you can see the color of ginger. The purple color is looking so nice. We will add little more turmeric powder. Little red chilli powder. And salt as well. But as we have already stuffed these spices in brinjal also, so we will keep them on a very lower side. We will add little water and we will cook it till the brinjal becomes soft and tender. Once our brinjals are cooked, we will add tamarind pulp. I have added half a cup of tamarind pulp to this add jaggery both tamarind and jaggery can be added as per your taste if you like sweet then you can add more jaggery but if you want the sarnes you can add more pulp but as you have seen I have not added the thick concentrate of tamarind pulp I have added water in that and now we will cook for another 5 minutes and our vegetable will be done. Our khatta mitha bengal is now ready. We will serve it. Our super yummy khatta mitha bengal are now ready. You can see they have come out really very nice. I have simply poured the gravy in the center and I have used little cream for garnishing. You can add any other thing like grated cheese and you can further bake it as well. So try making this khatta mitha bengan recipe and let us have your reviews. Thank you.